Okay, in this video tutorial, I'm going to go over saving and managing projects and files using Toon Boom Harmony. And so this is an important one to check in on if, if you're new to Harmony, and I think this tutorial will save you a lot of trouble down the road here. So I'm going to open Harmony, and when you open Harmony, it's going to take you to this pop-up window. And to the right, it's going to show you recent scenes that you've opened. So if you've been working on a project recently and you want to just jump right to it, you can always click on that. What we're doing is we're creating a new scene. And so we have the location. It's going to be on the desktop. And I recommend working at 24 frames per second. And the camera size is set to 1920 by 1080, which is the standard HD format. I'm going to name this. I'm going to call it online demo. And I like to use underscores here for spaces. And the way that Harmony works is really similar to After Effects or Premiere, if you've ever used those programs, where what's going to happen is I'm going to press Create Scene, and it's going to create a new folder right here. And Harmony doesn't work like Microsoft Word or something like that, where when you're working on a project, you can, you can save it, and it's just like one file. It, it creates a project folder that you'll need to kind of uh, use as your home base here. I'll press Create Scene. And so you can see it created that, that, that folder. So this is called Online Demo. So let me just minimize Harmony for a second. So it creates this folder directory. And within the folder directory, you, you, we can see that it, it automatically generates these folders for us. So let's just show something right here. So you can see the folder structure looks like this. And I'm just going to go into Harmony. And I'm just going to save what I got. So I'll just go File, Save. And what you can see right here is that uh, generates what's called an X stage file. And so an X stage file, if you want to open your, you know, your most recent project, this is what you're going to click on. So you should recognize it by it'll have the, the Harmony icon next to it. But let's just say that I've done some work on that project and three days later I'm trying to open it up. I could either, um, on that pop-up window on the, when I first opened up the Harmony, I could have clicked to the right and chosen one of those recent projects. Or I can just open up my online demo directory and click on the X stage file and it'll open it up for me. So continuing on how to navigate this folder structure, I have two things that I'm going to show you how to import into your scene. So I have just a turnaround JPEG right here and then I have a WAV file music file. And so I'm going to show you how to import these and I'm going to show you how importing files works within this folder system. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to import that turnaround. So I'm going to go into Harmony at the top, go File, Import, and then Images. And I'm going to stick with all my defaults in, in all these settings, but I'm just going to browse. So click the Browse button and click on my Turnaround and press Open. So again, the Browse button was right there. Got my Turnaround, and I'll just press OK. And so you can see that I have my Turnaround here. If you're importing your Turnaround, by the way, and you want to reposition it, you want to be sure to turn this animate off. Otherwise, whenever you move it, it'll start to generate keyframes and it'll create animations for you. So I click on this little stick figure and then turn that off. And then if I want to move my turnaround, I need to first make sure I select it. And then there's this transform button. And if you don't hold shift, it'll kind of come out disproportionate. But if I hold down shift, it'll come in in proportion right there. I have that imported. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save my project again. So I'll go File, Save. And this is something I really like about Harmony here, is in my project directory, if I go under Elements, you can see it automatically creates a duplicate of that turnaround and puts it in the directory for me. And it's going to do the same thing for audio as well. So it kind of, unlike Premiere and After Effects, this um, Harmony kind of does the organizing for you. Right, so all you have to worry about is importing it. So uh, next up, I'm going to show how to import audio. So I'll just go File, Import, and then Sound. So File, Import, Sound. And in, you have to make sure it's a WAV file. So this won't work if it's an MP3. So if you have an MP3, you'll need to kind of convert it with a, a second piece of software. And I'll press Open. And you can see that I have the, the audio file right there. You can, it should show up as like a little WAV file right there. One thing I'll say is you, you can edit audio in Harmony, but it's really not good at it. So I would recommend editing your audio in another program first and then importing it into Harmony. So um, I have what I want right there. And I'll just press File and Save again. And same thing as before, when I click on my project directory, it creates an audio folder for me. 
and the WAV file, it creates a duplicate of that WAV file for me. And um, be sure that you just, I mean, this is obvious, I guess, but just press file and then save. It won't create these, these, these items in your directory until you save your project, okay? And so let's move on to the next thing. So let's talk about saving files in, in Harmony. So what I've been doing so far is just file save, right? And what that does is in the project directory. So let me just close everything out. It, it just updates this X stage file. And so that's all well and good. That's what you'll, you'll do most of the time. But um, as you're working on a project for a long time, there's always the chance that it might get corrupted over time, especially if you're moving from one computer to another a lot. Like if, if, you know, if you're at school and you're, you're working on the school computer and then your home computer, or, you know, switching around. And so the best thing to do here is there's kind of three ways to save. And what I like to do is I like to save as new versions and it'll let me save incrementally. So, um, and it'll all go into the same project folder. I'll go file. And so instead of save, and I'm not gonna do save as right now, I'm gonna do save as a new version right here. So save as a new version, and then I'll just call this online demo version two and press okay. And so now I have a version two that shows up within the same directory. Just be sure to do that every now and then to make sure that if, if something gets corrupted, you don't lose all of your work, right? Um, so that's a good habit to get into. And it's really not a big deal to have a bunch of these going on, right? Because when you're opening this, you can just choose whichever of these is the biggest number between version one, version two, version three, all that. And don't get into naming things final, right? Just name, name incrementally when you're doing that. In Harmony, I'm gonna go to File, Save As. And I don't like this one as much because when you go File, Save As, I mean, there's, there's always a time to do it. But when you go File, Save As, it's gonna create an entirely new directory right here. So I'll show you what I mean. So I go File, Save As, and then let's just say I call this online version and I'm just gonna call this test in all caps. And this is gonna save on my desktop. So I, I do that. And you can see it created a whole new project directory right there. So a duplicate project directory and it's identical in all the ways. But if you start to have a bunch of project directories going, going around, it can start to, you know, it, it just depends on how you like to organize things, but that can start to get really messy over time. So what I, again, what I prefer to do most of the time is I just, when I, I save as a new version and save incrementally within this project folder, and that kind of saves me in case something gets corrupted or messed up. Last thing that I'm gonna talk about here is what you should do with this project directory. So if you're working on your home, your, your personal computer, you can you know, just keep it in the same spot and you should be fine. I've rarely run into any problems working this way. Um, if you're working uh, on a school computer and you're needing to save to OneDrive, Google Drive, you know, anything like that. A lot of the times those programs, if there's an empty folder in here, like this frames folder, for instance, it'll delete that folder without asking you, essentially, on, on OneDrive or Google Drive. And so what you wanna do to avoid that is you just compress it. So you should be able to just right click and go down to compress. I believe it's the same command on PC. You just right click and compress and it'll show up as a, as a file like this. And a zip file, it's, it'll make it so that OneDrive can't delete that folder. Everything in here is kind of secured and locked away. So when I'm backing up stuff, you know, let's just say this is OneDrive, this is my external hard drive, is what I like to do, and again, this is, this is totally optional, this is just kind of my personal practice, is I have a folder that I'll call like 2025 backups, and today is the th uh, January 3rd, so I'll make a new folder, 1-3, and I'll just throw my backup on here. And, and I'll make those for each day that I create backups. And so if anything ever happens to this file right here, I just know I can go to whatever my, my external storage solution is, go to my backups folder and kind of go through the, find the most recent date where I can find my project. And the, you know, that's my backup right there. So that's just an optional piece of advice that you know, there's many different ways to, to save backups and that's just one possible option that you could try right there.